it's easy to only focus on the presidential races, but the congressional races could also be a game changer for some states. Yeah, right here in Arizona, the race between Senator Martha McSally and former astronaut Mark Kelly is definitely one to watch. Let's break down why the congressional races are so important to keep an eye on. Most of the focus of the November election will be on the showdown between President Donald Trump and former Vice President Joe Biden. No matter which way that goes, the battle for control of Congress will be important too, with the coronavirus pandemic and high unemployment likely to still be issues into the new year. Also at stake within the next four years is the possible future of the U.S. Supreme Court. Democrats control the House with 233 seats to the Republicans' 197. One seat is held by former Republican Justin Amash, who is now a Libertarian. Four seats, formerly held by the GOP, are vacant. To ensure they keep control, Democrats must have a net loss of no more than 15 seats. For Republicans to win control, they would need a net gain of 16, plus win back those five other non-Democratic seats. In the Senate, Republicans have a 53 to 45 advantage, but there are two independents, Bernie Sanders and Angus King who caucus with the Democrats. To ensure control of the Senate, the GOP must have a net loss of no more than two seats. Democrats would need a net gain of four seats to gain control if you include Sanders and King. But remember, the vice president acts as the tie-breaking vote on bills in the Senate, so a 50-50 split means the advantage goes to the president's party. This is potentially key for the makeup of the Supreme Court. Ruth Bader Ginsburg and Stephen Breyer are two of the oldest sitting judges in the court's history and could possibly step down in the next four years. Our full Decision 2020 coverage continues on 12news.com and on the 12 News app. Make sure you download the app for a full list of voting locations for the upcoming August 4th primary.